Hi, my name's Stephen Fuller, and I'm going to give you the do's, don'ts, and tips about video presentation and radio. First thing we need to talk about is looking at the camera. This will make the audience feel included and that you are talking to them. The reason you should look at the camera is because if you do this, the audience doesn't really feel connected. Another way to make the audience feel included is to use inclusive language such as we, us, our. When presenting, you need to learn to draw your audience's attention. You can do this by using emphasis or using a pause. Another way to keep your audience attention is to constantly tell them what is coming up. So you do this by telling them once, telling them again later on, and then after the thing is shown, you tell them you told them. This is a brilliant way to keep your audience's attention because if they want to see that part which you have told them about, they'll keep watching and they'll watch the whole thing. Not only does this grab your audience's attention, but it also fits into the power of three. I know what you're saying. What is the power of three? The power of three is a presentation technique. It is said that if you tell people stuff in threes, then they are more likely to remember what they've been told. TV presenters use this. They use it with the example I gave you earlier about telling them, telling them again, and then telling them you've told them. Radio presenters use this technique as well. They'll use it to list the three upcoming songs. When presenting, you need to think about more than what you look like. Projecting your voice is a key when presenting. This is, holds true for radio and TV. If you sound excited, they will watch. Of course, it works the other way around as well. If you sound miserable, boring, and totally not interested, then they just won't connect and get bored. And be honest, you don't want that. All presenters get nervous, but one way they combat this is that they pretend that the presenter they're being is a role, and then they become that person just like an actor. The things that make people like or dislike you are the MVBs. This stands for non-verbal behavior. Things you should do are things such as appropriate hand and facial gestures. Laughing at appropriate times is important. If you don't, people might think you're a git. I went to the clinic yesterday. They said it was incurable. Nah, you got an STD. That person was well out of order for laughing. Tut tut. When presenting on a show, it is important to think about the way you are going to talk. For instance, are you going to talk like a chaff man? Or is one going to take a more posh direct to it? Also, when presenting, one's got to think about the swearing that they use. Swearing is not allowed on most TV programmes before 9 o'clock. There are other things that you should avoid looking like on TV. For instance, if you come in with baggy jeans, food all down your t-shirt, messy hair, and you look like a complete slob, no one's really going to um, connect with you, so they'll lose interest. The final thing I want to talk about is body language. Body language is the most important thing that is needed when presenting. Body language you should use is things like smiling at appropriate times or looking interested when somebody else is speaking to you. Of course, if you look bored, people won't like you much. Things that you should avoid are such things as pointing your finger, twirling your hair and slouching when you're sitting down. So thanks for watching my do's don'ts and tips about presentation. Bye.